Well, a very busy night for police in Seattle. Take a look at this map. All these red dots on the map are shootings that happened last night. Five in less than 12 hours. And it's not just Seattle seeing an uptick in some violent crimes. It's a problem facing communities across western Washington. We have team coverage for you tonight in the South Sound where the community groups have a plan of their own. But first to the investigations underway in Seattle. Erica Zuko, live outside Garfield High School where security was increased today after last night's shooting. Erica. Yeah, the district says that this is not a, quote, school-related incident, but they say that it is still, quote, unacceptable and really traumatic for anything to even happen near the school. And that shooting was just the first in a string of five shootings that happened in less than 12 hours across the city, making for a very busy night for police officers who say they're already hundreds of officers short. Garfield High School looked quiet today, but police on site were a reminder of what happened near the school during sports practices Thursday afternoon. A couple individuals were shooting back and forth at each other um, around 4.30 p.m. That kicked off a busy night for officers. First, the shooting near Garfield. Less than four hours later, a shooting police believe was sparked by road rage near State Route 509 and the First Avenue Bridge. By 9 o'clock, a shooting near 3rd and Pike. 10 minutes later, someone shot at a driver in Rainier Beach. And at 3.30 in the morning, police found a 15-year-old girl shot in the legs near South Eddy Street and 42nd. Police say she was in a Jeep covered in bullet holes. Inside, they found another teen girl, along with cash, a ski mask, and a bulletproof vest. An abnormal night during an atypical year. It is a busier year than it has been in the past. As police respond to gun violence, the King County Prosecutor's Office is analyzing who's impacted. Their most recent report showed 32% of victims were between 18 and 24, and about 81% of them people of color. SPD's interim chief saying during a budget signing press conference that they're short on staff. If 1,400 officers is what I need, we've had a variety of different staffing studies that will tell you that we need close to 16 to 1,700 officers. SPD saying waves of violence like this one stretch those resources even more. Police say across all of these shootings, two people were very seriously hurt. That 15 year old girl who was shot in the legs and a 29 year old man who was brought to Harborview for treatment. Erica Zuko, King 5 News. All right, Erica, thank you. In Tacoma, community organizations are calling for more money for programs meant to address rising crime. King 5's Lionel Donovan is live there for us tonight. So Lionel, new data from police shows criminal activity is on the rise, right? That's correct, Mark. And I actually had the opportunity earlier today to speak with Candace Wesley, who is the co-founder of Tacoma Ceasefire. They're a Tacoma-based organization that deals with violence in the city along with gun violence. And she says that better coordination between the city and community, uh, community organizations like hers would go a long way in having an effective impact. You can hear it and see it now more than ever. According to Tacoma Police, Crimes like arson, homicide, and burglary have increased significantly in the past few years. Of my experience. Candace Wesley has seen it all before. Wesley remembers seeing violence like this before in Tacoma and has spent decades bringing solutions. She still has fond memories of her time working with the Northwest Leadership Foundation, which provided wraparound services such as youth development to Tacoma's children. That was the most elite team in the city of Tacoma. The organization was established in 1989, the same year of the infamous Ash Street shootout, where gang members in Tacoma's Hilltop got into a shootout with several United States Army Rangers in the streets. The incident, along with the rising homicide rate in the following years, led to calls for the city to take action. About what happened in the past. Incoming Councilwoman Kiara Daniels grew up in Tacoma and still remembers the violence that gripped the city. But she also remembers the actions Tacoma took to stop it. We had an influx of like policing at that point, which I think we've been scrutinized over. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen some of the scrutiny over that, but we also had an uptick in community services and community programs for youth. In the beginning, Wesley says community work made a real impact. But as time went on, things began to unravel. What happens is when you have something that is working, instead of us coming together collectively, and strengthening something that is working, what happens is you 
find a lot of spin-offs that start to take place and things start to become scattered. Which led to less funding to go around. Councilwoman Daniels worked in community service before getting into politics, and she felt the impact of that firsthand, along with a lowered sense of urgency. One of the things I remember is that every year the funding was challenged because it wasn't the main event anymore. It wasn't like uh, the most important thing to fund. But now crime is back on the rise. And Daniel is concerned that without the focused investment into community-led initiatives, Tacoma may not be able to effectively fight back. And we can try to get to it from harsher punishment, so we can try to think about that. But when you are trying to survive, none of that matters. and. So we need to be trying to help people not only survive, but thrive in Tacoma. Now, Miss Wesley said that she is looking forward to working with the incoming police chief here in Tacoma, and that she is hoping that his solutions will make sure to uh, make that the community will be a part of those effective solutions moving forward. And he is set to be taking on the job in the coming month. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.